Coming up, the most crowded playoffs yet kicked off over the weekend, and we're already down from 14 teams to nine. With a weekend of playoff games to go over and another still coming up, this is Locked On Now NFL. <laughs> The biggest games, the best performances, expert analysis. You are locked on now. Hey everyone, you are listening to Locked On Now, local experts on the biggest stories around the NFL. I'm your host, Kim Becker, and thanks so much for making Locked On Now your first listen every weekday. Our Locked On NFL hosts are here to help recap the first super wild card weekend. We'll start with the best performance of the weekend, where the Bengals gave Cincinnati its first playoff win in more than 30 years. Our Locked On Bengals host is here to tell you all about it. The best performance. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The Cincinnati Bengals have broken their playoff drought. I'm Jake Lisko from the Locked On Bengals podcast. And with a 26 to 19 win over the Las Vegas Raiders, the Cincinnati Bengals, led by former first round pick Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, have broken, whether it's the curse of Bo Jackson or just a 31 year playoff drought since the Raiders beat the Bengals in 1991. One of the longest playoff droughts in the history of professional sports and the longest running playoff drought in professional football a big win for the city of Cincinnati a big game for Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase the Raiders did not have an answer in the first half and the offensive line for the Bengals held up well enough for the Bengals to go wire to wire in this one with the lead some injuries on the defensive side of the ball were not enough for the Raiders to come back and without a vertical passing game from Derek Carr and the Raiders and a game script in the Bengals favor Things went the Bengals' way, and the city of Cincinnati gets to celebrate. For more on the Cincinnati Bengals' playoff run, make sure you check out the Locked On Bengals podcast. We've got you covered for the entire playoff run, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Buffalo Bills fans had waited a very long time for the revenge that they got on the New England Patriots on Saturday night. One win won't make up for the six Super Bowls Buffalo had to watch New England win, but a 30-point domination of Mac Jones and the Pats will have to do. Locked on Bills tells us more after the biggest Buffalo win in recent memory. I'm Joe Marino, host of the Locked on Bills podcast, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, and the biggest takeaway from the Bills' 47-17 to win over the New England Patriots is that they're capable of being the most dominant football team in the NFL. The Bills finished the season amid a four-game win streak, and they're peaking at the right time. Josh Allen with one of the greatest playoff performances in the history of the NFL. Five touchdown passes, 21 of 25. The guy had more passing touchdowns than he did in completions. Don't forget about 66 rushing yards. Devin Singletary continues to be the focal point of the rushing attack that has really turned the corner for this Bills football team behind the number one defense in the NFL. The Bills are playing good football. They just dismantled the New England Patriots, seven offensive drives, seven touchdowns. The Bills are a force to be reckoned with in the AFC playoffs. For more on this game and your Buffalo Bills, don't miss the Locked On Bills podcast, available free and on all platforms. Coming up, Tom Brady makes easy work of the first opponent standing between him and Super Bowl number eight. This is Locked On Now NFL. Bet Online would like to wish you all a happy new betting year as we continue the march to playoffs and beyond. Bet Online remains the number one spot for all sports wagering action in 2022. New year and a new updated desktop and mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Just use our promo code Locked On to get started. From football, basketball, hockey, boxing, and UFC, right down to your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait to take advantage of all the amazing offers for 2022. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on all of your favorite sports. And again, you can get a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit with our promo code locked on. Bet online where the game starts. Welcome back to Locked On Now NFL. I'm Kim Becker. Thanks for making Locked On Now your first listen every day. Let's hear from more of our Locked On NFL hosts to help recap wildcard weekend around the NFL. 
let's go around the league. Tom Brady and the reigning Super Bowl champions started their title defense Sunday by hosting Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. And the greatest of all time made easy work of Philly in jumping out to a 31-0 lead. Locked on Bucks assesses just how good Tampa looked as they march on to the divisional round. Objects on your stat sheet may appear closer than they are in real life, and that's exactly what happened in Raymond James Stadium on Sunday. I'm David Harrison of the Locked On Bucks podcast. We're locked on now following the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 31 to 15 win over the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday as part of the NFL's Super Wild Card weekend. Tampa Bay Buccaneers really in control of the game from the get go, scoring on three of their first four drives of the game, going up 17 nothing on the Eagles early, making sure that all the pressure was on Jalen Hurts in his first career postseason start. Meanwhile, the Buccaneers were missing some key players. Got huge contributions from some lesser talked about members of the organization, guys like running back Giovanni Bernard and safety Mike Edwards. They will now advance to the divisional round where they await the winner of either the San Francisco versus Dallas Cowboys game or the Arizona Cardinals versus Los Angeles Rams game. For more on that, this game and everything Tampa Bay Buccaneers, check out the Locked On Bucks podcast five days a week, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Not the warmest of welcomes for Jalen Hurts in his first playoff start. He threw two interceptions in the loss to end the Philadelphia season. And Locked On Eagles tells you more of what went wrong in Tampa Bay. The Philadelphia Eagles season comes to an end in the wild card round of the playoffs after a 31-16 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This was a game Tampa Bay controlled from the jump going up early 17-0. The defense yet again played soft zone coverage against a star quarterback and let Tom Brady do whatever he wanted. And on the offensive side of the football, a very disappointing performance as a whole from the entire unit, but especially from the quarterback, Jalen Hurts, who made his playoff debut. Interceptions, he was late on plays, missing touchdowns, inaccurate throws, just looked kind of rattled from the pressure and overall put some question marks in doubt into the minds of Eagles fans when it comes to his upside as a passer. Overall, the game does not erase the progress the Eagles made in the 2021 season, but it certainly is a reflection of how far this team still is from getting to the level of a team like Tampa Bay. They'll have three first-round picks this offseason to help get to that point. Overall, a very good, progressive season for the Birds that does end, unfortunately, in disappointment. Louis DiBiase, Locked On Eagles. The Kansas City Chiefs win over the Pittsburgh Steelers ended a Hall of Fame career on Sunday night. Pittsburgh came out with the energy for Big Ben, but just didn't have enough to overcome the Chiefs offense once it got going. Locked on Steelers gives you the details from the losing side in Kansas City. I'm Chris Carter of the Locked on Steelers podcast, and this is your Locked on Now reaction to the Steelers playoff loss in Kansas City Chiefs. 42-21. The season is over. The Steelers came out fighting. The defense tried its best, forcing three punts, getting an interception on Patrick Mahomes, and forcing and returning a fumble for a touchdown in the in the early minutes of this game. But eventually, as I said all week long, if you did, if you didn't put up points on the board, the Chiefs were going to make you pay. Eventually, the Chiefs went out and scored six straight touchdown drives to to, to open the game up, getting we, we get opening up a 42-21 lead. The Steelers tried their best in this game, but the offense just wasn't there. And there's several questions that are left for the team moving forward. One, when will Ben Roethlisberger announce his retirement? We know that's coming at some point. We don't know when officially it, it will be. We assume it might be February, March area, close close to you know after the season and you know setting up the Steelers for free agency. But also, uh, questions are who do you invest in moving forward if you're the Steelers? You know you got players like Pat Frymuth, Najee Harris, T.J. Watt, Kim Hayward, Mika Fitzpatrick. But you saw in this game. Other guys didn't step up like Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, guys that you're thinking maybe they should have been part of the plan moving forward. We'll see what that plan is is for the Steelers going into 2022 season. But I'm Chris Carter, the Lockdown Steelers podcast. Join and watch the full episode on, on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Odyssey. And I'll be breaking down all those questions and more on your Pittsburgh Steelers. Alrighty, that is a wrap for us. Thank you so much for making Locked On Now your first listen every day. For more on the National Football League and your favorite team, make your second listen Locked On NFL and your team's Locked On podcast. I'm Kim Becker. This has been Locked On Now, Locked On, your team every day.